Hi everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube and welcome to this brand new video for the channel. In today's video, and just because you've been requesting this video a lot, I'm gonna tell you the best binary options 15 minute strategy in 2020. Now, there are many strategies out there, but I can guarantee you that this is the best one. The one that will allow you to have more accuracy, more times to entry, and the easiest to be understood in the binary options niche. Are you ready? If you're new to my channel and you're into binary options, forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate the notifications bell icon so that you get a notification for every new video that I upload. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Hey, and before I actually jump into the actual video, I just want to give you a warm invitation to jump into my BLW Trading Academy. BLWTradingAcademy.com is the actual website, and there is my personal training where I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know in regards to day trading, including Forex and binary options. Everything since the beginning, like what's the story, which one you should choose, how to place trades, the best strategies, and how to start with a broker. So so everything is actually being taught in that specific personal training that I have, and I'm going to have the link below in the description of this video. With that being said, let's jump into this content. All right, everyone. So the first thing we're going to do is jump into our trading view uh, website. The, uh, this is the, the best charts that I actually have. I also use MT4 for Forex, MT5 for signal alerts and so on. But in this specific tutorial, I'm gonna be using TradingView, which is 100% free so that you can use it as well as reference. And before I jump into the video as well, the two brokers that I recommend you for this strategy for binary options in general, is actually IQ option and a pocket option. Both of them, I'm gonna have the link below in the description of this video. And both of these brokers offer you a free demo account, IQ option for 10,000, dollars and pocket option for a thousand dollars and you can unlimited recharge them so that you can keep on practicing with this strategy or with any other strategy out there 100 free until you master it so i'm gonna have the link for both of them below in the description of this video yes these are affiliate links so if you actually open an account with using with these brokers i might get a small commission out of it and this actually helps to support this youtube channel so that being said let's jump into the strategy so this strategy is going to be based on support and resistance so i'm going to start with this uh broker this uh pair right here that i have it's AUD JPY. it can be used with any broker we're going to do an example with a different pair in just a little bit and the first thing that you need to do first look it up it's AUD JPY. you uh, press enter and that's it and what you need to do is change it to 30 minute candles 30 minute candles will be a point of reference uh, in order for us to enter these trades, even though this is a 15 minute strategy. And I'm gonna explain you exactly why right now. But before we actually jump into the 30 minutes, we need to find our support and resistance and that we can be doing with four hour candles. Why? Because that way we have a wider view as to what are the actual support and resistance levels that are being respected. Now, once you actually change it to four hours, and by the way, make sure you actually have it on uh, uh, four hours, what you're going to do is that you're actually going to go over here and select a price range indicator right here. And you're going to draw it all the way on the pair. There you go. You're going to let it go. Select again this uh, selector. And what you're going to do is actually uh, uh, like align it with the support and resistance levels that you see. Here it looks like this is a strong support line. So I'm going to draw it around right there around that area. And uh, that's pretty much it. And if you notice, uh, we're going to take a look and see if we can find another support level uh, right here, for example, on this area. 
and what we can do is go back in time it doesn't matter when was this support actually respected as long as it was respected we are going to use it so if you notice this is from uh, january the 13th 2020 so this is a good support line right here now one thing we need to identify is that the trend on this specific pair. So what you're going to do is that you're going to add this moving average that is going to be with a period of 35. Regardless of what color is it, I recommend you to actually put it some kind of a thick um, color. And if you take a look at it, this moving average actually determines the trend of the pair. So this downtrend and now it's become a, an uptrend ever since March the 23rd. So this is an uptrend. Why is it that you need to understand this? Because whenever there is an uptrend, the support it will be more respected than the resistance. The resistance is more likely to actually be broken since there's an uptrend. It will continue with breakouts all the way up until the top. So what you need to find is the actual opposite to the trend. So the support line is the one that is going to be respected. So once you find a good support line, then is going to start going up. So once we actually found this, and if it's too complicated, make sure you rewatch the video because it's gonna be super important. Once you actually found the support, the a strong support line, and the trend, you're gonna change the candles to one hour, and then you're gonna determine two things. One, that the support is actually being respected, and two, that the trend is also being respected. Now, if you notice, there is seems to be a change in direction of the trend. However, it's not entirely true. It's just starting to switch in direction, but it did it in here as well, but then it continued to go up. Now, how do you determine if it's a strong uptrend in the four hour chart? This is a strong uptrend. So it's gonna continue going up, even if it has a small switch in here, it's gonna continue up eventually. So now we know that it is an uptrend. Now what we do is that we switch it to 30 minutes, which I told you was going to be our main focus on the time frame. And here you can see that the support line is still being respected. Now what is it that we do? We end up in the 15 minute time frame. Now this is a good entry point for this specific pair. This is for a call and it's going to be a call for 15 minutes. And every time this support line is being touched, is going to be a call. Take a look at the, the, the support line was respected twice already here. And if I enter a position right now for 15 minutes, right now it's about to start a new candle and it's gonna seem like it's gonna break it, but it's gonna start going off for 15 minutes. So this is a strong support line. Now, something that you have to be very, very careful is in the opposite. Now, this is the opposite. This is the resistance line. Now, you already have a support and resistance already uh, like drawn in there. But what happens is that in an uptrend, like I said, it is more likely that the breakout is going to happen on the resistance levels. Right now, uh, it's uh, 10 seconds away and this candle is going to close. And the next, next one is going to be a green candle. So once you actually drew these uh, specific support line, you can actually even use this uh, short position as a reference. Actually, it's going to be a long position as a reference so that you can actually understand what are the areas that you should have available. For example, this, since this is a call, all right, and you are going to identify the following support line. How do you identify the following support line? You go again, four hour candles and what you get. And let me just go ahead and move this real quick and I'm going to add it later on. The next support line is going to be the next one that was being respected. So in this specific pair, for example, is going to be this one right here. So you draw, this is the next support line. Hold on. I actually messed up. Hold on. There you go. This is the next support line, right? So what's going to happen is that this is a good risk. This is a good, um, hold on. I need to actually extend it a little bit. There you go. Perfect. So if you notice, this is the let, this is the next support line that is going to happen in this specific trading, uh, pair. This is actually also good for Forex 
because if you notice, this is all a profit area. So what you need to do is that in binary options, you don't really need to focus on the four hour trades, but what you can do is focus on several 15 minute trades during the day on the same pair and you're gonna be in the money all the time. So right here we identify the uh, first, the support line and then the next support line. So if the price breaks right here, this is gonna be your next support line. And since this is an uptrend, it's gonna continue going up. So what you do right now is that you jump into one hour and these are the areas as well. And you jump into 15 minutes, which is your actual entry point. If it breaks right now, like for example, it did, you wait until it touches the next support line and then it's gonna start going up as simple as that. Now this has become a new resistance point, but what's the problem? The problem is that this is an uptrend. So you're not supposed to trade on resistance. You're not supposed to uh, sell on resistance whenever there is an uptrend. Why? Because it's likely to break the resistance. You need to focus on the support line. So right now, all we need to do is just wait for it to either start jumping again or touch the next support line and we enter a position. Every time this support line is being touched, you're gonna enter for a call for 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And every time it touches in this resistance, you're gonna enter for a call. So there you have a support line to actually trade several times during the day in binary options, as simple as that. But let's go ahead and look at a, another example and uh, see if we can find it on EuroGBP, for example. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, here already, I already have a support resistance, so let me choose a different pair. Euro JPY, there you go. This, is, this looks like a good pair. So what is it that we do? First, we jump into four hours. Uh, we're gonna delete all of this stuff that we don't need. All right, it's clearly a dub, an uptrend and we actually select the price range and we draw it, perfect. Now we're gonna draw it on the levels. This is the highest resistance point and this is a good support line. I would even say it's right here, the support line, but I'm gonna draw it right here. So this is the support and resistance, right? So again, we actually go in a short position. Uh, actually, it's gonna be on a long position. There you go. We select it right there. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna move it and we're gonna determine what is a good entry point right here. Right here. Perfect. Now, automatically, we're going to look. Actually, this one, I do believe that this is a good uh, resistance point right there in four hours. This is a good resistance. It was respected before, so it is a good resistance. And this one, now, we're going to put it right here. And just let me make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. So this is the profit area for a call. And if you notice here, we have the other support line. So now we have both the support and resistance levels already respected in four hours. We know it's an uptrend, so we're gonna go with calls. So we take a look at one hour candles and we're good to go. This is a good entry point again. And now we jump into 30 minutes. We take a look. Yes, the resistance is being respected and the support line is really close. And then we jump to 15 minutes. And if you notice right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 times. 12, even now right here, 13, 14 times this support was actually being respected. Yes, it was broken a couple of times, but my ad says that as many times as I can enter in this specific level, I'm gonna be in the money. So whenever that resistance is actually touched, then you're gonna enter for 15 minutes and then for 15 and then for 15 and you can easily win one, two, three positions like right here, one, two, three, four, even four positions, you could have been in the money in this specific pair. My advice is that you actually en en enter individually for 15 minutes on each position so that you don't actually, if you see a breakout, then you stay away from that pair and you don't enter anymore. So one position at a time of 15 minutes and you're gonna be good to go. This 
strategy is very simple for binary options. It could be the opposite for sell or for put positions whenever there is an, a downtrend. So I, I, I'm, I, I'm actually sure that you understood the way to actually do it right here. But if not, make sure you put it on the comment section below. And hey, thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you smash the like button. And in case you guys have any additional questions, make sure you put it on the comment section below. If you want to see more videos just like this one, more tutorials like this, make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.